Hey everyone, I'm Will from PyTop and today we're going to look at how you can install your own Raspberry Pi inside the PyTop 4 DIY edition. It's really straightforward to do. I'm going to talk you through the steps, step by step. Now really there's only one main tool you need and that's a screwdriver and there is actually one included in the box anyway but I tend to use my own because I prefer the feel of it. And you can also, I find it helps if you have a pair of blunt nose tweezers, it can also be very handy. Okay, so to begin with we're going to pop the box open and take a look at what's inside. So the first thing you're going to see is you've got a little pouch here and then you've also got the pie top underneath. So opening it up you'll see you've got two little booklets. One is a quick getting started guide, handy for some tips and tricks. The other is the limited warranty which you're very welcome to read if you're into that sort of thing. And then you also have the uh, small metallic pouch full of a couple of accessories. These are going to be very useful so I'm going to lay these out so you can see what you've got. So. A lot of good stuff in here. So we've got uh, the two cables that we need to connect to the camera and uh, display from the Raspberry Pi into the Pi Top. So we're going to pop those up there. Uh, you've got the little screwdriver there if you fancy using that. I'm going to pop that to one side. Now these are quite important. You've got two pads, thermal pads these. I'll tell you more about these later. We'll be needing those. And we've got this little USB plug. A very strange, unique device, but also essential. And then the other stuff that you've got in here, apart from a spare USB plug and a couple of spare screws, are the accessories that you need to attach a Raspberry Pi hat on top of your Pi Top. So we'll look at that in another video. So I'm going to pop those away, tidy it all away. Okay, and on to the main event. So I'm going to get the Pi Top out the box. There it is, put that box there. Okay, so this is really straightforward. You're going to start by turning the Pi Top over on its back and take off the two black Phillips screws up at the top. And then you're going to take the lid off of the pie top. Now that's the part that's got the perforated dots on them and you're just going to gently pull away. It should come off really easily. Pop that to one side. Okay, and this is your first glimpse inside of the pie top. So the first thing we're going to have to do here is gently pry away this silver connector that you see here. You can do that with your fingernails or if you happen to have the blunt nose uh, tweezers then that can also help just get that under there very gently come off. Shouldn't take much force, so don't force it. Once you've done that, there are three screws that we're going to have to take off. So that's the two black screws that you see here. And we're also going to do the small silver screw that is hidden underneath that connector that you just removed. So let's start by taking those out. Okay, so once we've got those three screws removed, you want to take hold of this metal assembly and just gently slide it out. It should come out without much resistance. Pop the main body of the Pi Top to one side for now. And now you have the Raspberry Pi enclosure. So the first thing that we're going to do here is we're going to take the mezzanine PCB off of the top of this assembly. So we're going to pop it down. First we need to unplug the fan from its connector. You can do that with just your fingernails, just take it straight out. And then the three screws that we're going to need are going to be this one, this one, and this one, the three crosshead screws on the top. So go ahead and remove those. And then gently pull away the mezzanine board and it should just come straight off like that. Pop that to one side, that's going to be useful in a minute. Now you're going to take this assembly and you're going to flip it over and take off the four screws on the bottom. Okay, now flip it over and gently take off the top and there we are inside. Now the first thing you'll notice is that inside you've got this cool little pie top card that just comes straight out. Pop that one in your wallet, useful later. Okay, now the fun starts and we can start putting in the Raspberry Pi. So, the very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to install a thermal pad in the bottom of this metal chassis and that's basically going to help dissipate some of that heat from the main CPU on the Raspberry Pi. So the thermal pad that we want is going to be this large bluish one here. So you want to go ahead and take the film straight off of that. Just gently peel it off. Let's get rid of that to one side. And you're going to gently pop that thermal pad down right there in the middle of the chassis on the little raised piece of metal that you see. And that's all there is to that. You don't need to push down too hard on it. The Raspberry Pi will do that once it's seated. Next step, we're also going to do the thermal pad for the Raspberry Pi itself. So I'll pop that up there. And the Raspberry Pi thermal pad is much smaller and very thin. That's this cute little grey one. So you just want to take the 
uh, protective coating off of that. You can actually leave the top coating on while you put it down if that helps. You can press it straight down onto the CPU, which is the silvery one in the middle. If you're putting this together yourself, you probably knew that already. And then just peel away that plastic film on the top. And there we go. Right, that is now ready for the next step. So with the thermal pads installed, and now we're going to install the DSi and the CSi cables. Now these are the little, uh, there's a black and a white cable that you would have found in that pouch. First we're going to do the display interface, that's this one here. So you want to gently lift up the edge of the clasp there on that connector. You're going to take this black cable and making sure that the gold contacts are facing down towards the USB end of the board. You're going to gently insert that. You shouldn't have much resistance when you do this. And then once it's in, press down on that little locking latch on either side, just like that, and it's in. Easy. Now I'm going to repeat the same thing with the camera interface. Now the camera interface, first we're going to lift up that little latch, just like that. I'm going to take that little white uh, ribbon cable there, and you're looking at the side that says RPi side, Raspberry Pi side. Now you want to make sure that the gold contacts this time are facing towards the display end of the board. So the gold contacts are facing away from the USB. And once again, with that locking latch open, you're going to gently insert that cable. Should go in without any resistance at all. And once it's seated in all the way, you just want to gently push down that locking latch. Make sure it's lined up straight. That's it. And then push down the locking latch and there it goes, just like that. All right, so with the thermal pads installed and the display and camera cables installed, it's time to put the Raspberry Pi into the bottom half of the metal chassis. So once we've done that, you're going to take the top half of the metal chassis, that's the one that's got the fan on it, and you're going to gently put it on top of the Raspberry Pi, but you've got to feed this black display cable into this small slot on the top side of the chassis. So you want to just gently push it through, just like that, really easy, and the display cable, the white one, is going to go through the much larger slot that it is lined up with. So you want to just put that through there, and the whole thing should just gently go down. Now make sure you pull through the slack on the black display cable when you do this. There shouldn't be much of it, but you just want to make sure this is about the length that you're looking for there. So then you're going to pop this straight down on top. And once you've got it on, just push down very gently. And what you're doing there is you're pressing the bottom of the Raspberry Pi into that thermal pad to make sure you've got good thermal contact between the Raspberry Pi and the metal chassis. Don't push too hard. Once you've done that, you're going to flip the whole thing over and we're going to put those four screws in to keep the metal chassis together. So these, grab these screws that we took out earlier. Make sure that you use the right screws because some of them are slightly different lengths. Okay, so now comes the most delicate part of the whole operation. We're going to attach these two cables onto the mezzanine PCB, onto these two connectors on the bottom of the PCB. So we'll start with the black uh, DSi cable. So just like that, you're going to, um, first step is you've got to make sure this little latch is lifted and that allows you to insert the cable straight in. Once it reaches that end, keep a little bit of pressure applied to it and just drop down this latch. And when you're done, there should be about this much of this little black shiny bit left sticking out. That's how you know it's seated all the way in. And then the same again with this white cable. Now with the white cable, the camera cable, it's a little bit easier to know when you've seated it in correctly. You, once again, you're going to lift that latch there to very gently because it is quite easy to break these ones. Then you just want to slide that blue end into there. And the nice thing about these ones is they've got this black line on. And so when you've slid that in, you drop down the latch and the black line is covered up. And that's how you know that it is seated all the way in. Okay, once you've done that, you just want to flip that whole PCB over. Now it's going to uh, sit down on these GPIO pins. Just make sure that the two cables aren't being uh, clamped anywhere or bent too much. They are expected to be bent a little bit. So as you turn it over, just gently line things up so that that display cable, that black cable is kind of neatly bent, but not sort of kinked underneath that PCB. Push the whole thing down, make sure the, whoops, Make sure the, dis, uh, the the fan connector hasn't get caught under there. There we go. Push that down. Okay, and once you've got that installed, it's time to connect the fan. Now for that, you've got two different options here. 
If you connect to the connector on the left, the fan will be connected to the microcontroller inside the Pi Top that intelligently monitors temperature and regulates the fan to be just the right speed for that temperature. But this will only work correctly if you're using Pi Top OS, that's our operating system, on your SD card. If you're using your own operating system, or if you want to get a bit experimental, then you can plug into J8, that's the connector on the right, and what that does is it connects the speed pin of the fan, the PWM pin, to GPIO 12 of the Raspberry Pi, which is a PWM pin. So you can write your own software to directly control the speed of the fan, or you can just set it to be on full speed all the time. We found that's particularly useful if you're using your own operating system, or if you just want to have more control over it and mess around with it yourself. Now we do recommend that if you want to get the most out of your PyTop, you do use PyTop OS, and so I'm going to use the connector on the left here, J2, which means that the microcontroller inside the PyTop is going to automatically control the speed of the fan to make sure it is just the right speed at all times. So with the fan connected, we're now going to screw down that mezzanine into the chassis. So you're going to take those three screws that we removed earlier, these slightly shorter screws, and you're going to put those into these holes on the top of the mezzanine. Okay, and the last step before you're ready to install this little Raspberry Pi assembly into your Pi Top is you're gonna take that little USB plug that we found earlier and it's gonna go into the bottom left USB of your Raspberry Pi. So pop that in there, make sure it seats all the way in. And that basically takes that USB connection from the Raspberry Pi and it allows the Pi Top to connect to things like the Pi Top touchscreen display and the Pi Top keyboard. So with that done, we're gonna take the Pi Top here, place it down in front of us, and then, and this is a little bit fiddly, there's a technique to it, but once you've got it, it's really easy. You're gonna place that chassis straight down there and slide it in one smooth motion without forcing it straight into the pie top. You'll know you've got it right when these two screw holes are aligned with these little holes. Okay, so now we've got three screws to install. So that's gonna be the one silver screw that's gonna go underneath this ribbon cable. So gently pull back the ribbon cable. I tend to find it helps to use a little pair of tweezers to get that screw in the right place and then screw that gently in. And once you've done that one, you can fold this ribbon cable back over and connect it into that connector. Now two small black screws on the side here. And the very last step is we're gonna put the lid on the top of the pie top there. So to do that, just line it up don't force it, there is a correct way to do it. And then click down on the sides. You might hear a gentle click, don't worry if you don't, but you do wanna make sure that there's no gap there. It should be pretty apparent when it's installed correctly. Put the pie top on its back and then install those last two screws. So once the Raspberry Pi is installed, the pie top is now ready to go. The very last thing you need on there, of course, is an operating system. So to do that, flip it over, your little SD card slot here, you can open that up and reach the SD card slot of the Raspberry Pi. Once you've burnt an operating system onto the SD card, you can pop it straight into there, straight into the Raspberry Pi and put the lid back on it. Now we do recommend that you use PyTop OS, that's our own version of Raspberry Pi OS. It's a great OS packed full of features and it works really nicely with the Pi Top. It talks to the little microcontroller inside here so that you can get the most out of all the features that your Pi Top has to offer. But you can use your own OS if you want. We found things like RetroPie work really nice as well. If you want to use Pi Top OS, you can use the link that I've put in the description down below that's on the screen right now. And that is it. Your Pi Top is now ready to go. All that's left to do is flick the power switch on the side and the adventures can begin. So that's all from this video. Thanks very much for watching. If you have any problems, do head over to our website. We've got an excellent forum there to help you with any and all difficulties you might run into. And we cannot wait to see what you guys do with the PyTop 4 DIY edition.